Good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. We're back at it. It's a new year. It's 2022, and I'm going to fulfill one of my promises to her from 2020. High fives. All right, 2019, whatever. Keep it straight. Keep coming. Now. I promised to put a stereo in her car. I never got around to it. She wants CarPlay. This thing doesn't have it. 4J. Antique. Yeah. But thanks to Kenwood, we have a nice new radio with CarPlay to put in her car. But here's the twist. She's gonna have to do it. Oh my gosh. She's not gonna have to do all of it. I made the harness because you know, like, you know, there's, she has to do something though. So she's gonna take it apart and have the joy that is the accomplishment of putting in her own radio. High five. Let's get started. We're using a Metro dash kit. I have the instructions. You're gonna have to read them and figure out how to do it while I sit in the front seat here and watch. Always watching. Always watching. Double. All right, here's the instructions. Fortunately for you, your dad has a bitchin' set of tools. And I believe this is what you're gonna need first. Thank you. Just... Well, according to the picture here, it just magically rises up off of the dash. Just pull? No. It's, it's see, it says unclip, remove Ooh, top yeah, but... trim panel above display screen. Can I do it? Uh, well, all right. Well, let's let's look at it real quick. Is this there is a, annoying. There, there, of course. Can it you is. remove it? <laughs> this is a seam here. So, but this all comes up. Okay. Well, that's what you have to check to see if it's a seam. I looked at the picture. Well, yeah, but you don't know if this piece is part of that. It yeah, looks like it on is. On the picture, it says. Okay. So look for a gap. Like you have a gap there, I have a gap here. I have a gap here. All right, well then just kind of work it up. And then just keep moving. Now get this side. Thanks. Right. Set it out there on the workbench. Dad, I'm visual. What's that? Can we switch sides? You want to sit over here? Yeah. yeah. What size torx does it say? T25. T25. What? You need a shorter one? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Okay. Fernando's lucky, bro. Why is Fernando lucky? Because he's short. The legs and arms is not working together today. <laughs> Just this? Well, we'll see if you can figure out where the screw is. I can. It's okay. right here. A power tool? <laughs> yeah, here, go. I'm scared. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's that's the other way. I gotta hit the little button. Alright, now go. Okay, keep going. Alright. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. There's no clips. Yeah, it just flips up. What? Uh, no, there's, there's something that either slips or pushes. Flip it around so you can see it. Looks like there's something that pushes. It's gonna squeeze. It's not squeezing. the trim panel above the radio. Just be careful. Go for the bigger. There you go. Alright, perfect. What size? Seven? Seven. Yeah. 
seven. Why don't you just look at that? Hmm? Why don't you just look at that? Well, every car uses a seven. There you go. Ugh. When you're pulling this apart, you don't ever want to go like someplace like this because you could crack it because it's super thin. If you're looking at like, these are good for thin areas, but yeah, somewhere in here, you just got to be careful because you don't want to mar the dash. So, sometimes, do this, and get in there, and then it goes across. Yeah. Keep, going. Keep going. The whole thing's got to come off. Kind of work your way around the whole thing. No screws in the back? No. Okay. Really? There's one screw right there in the back. Well, they didn't say that. Alright, well. Oh, yeah, they didn't. <laughs> I didn't see that aerial arrow. It runs in. Uh huh. Let's be honest. You probably made the same mistake. No, I read the instructions. Okay, you've probably done it before. There you go. Sure there was only the two screws? Yes, this time I'm sure. Okay. There's two though. Oh. Usually if there's one on the right, there's one on the left. <laughs> so I, don't. I don't. Oh jeez. Right, I'll hold it. That's... What is the shaded region? Uh, remove shaded area. So we gotta cut. We gotta cut that out. We have to get a saw. It's this piece here. How do you figure out? Hold on. I did her a favor and I wired in the harness to the Maestro module. Basically did a lot of the hard work as it were, but because this has an amplifier, we have speaker wires here that need to be connected. So we got five solder points to do and though she really doesn't want to do it, right? No, not at all. We're gonna let put her give it a try. So I just I put them like a Y or an X, more like an X. That's what I did. And then, yeah, but you gotta, you gotta get in there on that X and then get them really tight. <laughs> Do you hold it with your right hand? You can hold it with either hand. Well, which one? You hold it with your right hand. Press the button. You gotta count. I've gotta make sure the red light's on. Keep this away. Keep the shrink wrap away. I am. So there's a flat side to it. If where it's shiny, use either side. Doesn't matter. You gotta hold the button while you're doing it. Okay. Put the soldering gun on the wire itself. It'll go to the wire. There you go. Move your hand. All right. So, <laughs> so it's just like that. What you're trying to do is heat up the copper, not the solder. The solder pulls into the copper when you heat it up. What a lot of people try to do is heat up the, the solder and then apply it to the wire. Yeah. You're trying to heat up the copper, and when you do that, the solder will pull into the wire. You got Should it right I in wait? the middle. No, no. Here you go. Get it in the middle. How that works. I know how this works. Okay. All right, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's gonna put out a huge much. flame. How much? Right there's good. Really? Yeah, the other way. <laughs> just just scared the shit out of me. Yeah, that was how you away. were with the, the, the saw. Mad dangerous. You were just like, you weren't even like turning it off. You are just holding it. Is this a flat? Can you yeah, saw? yeah, you can use the flat side. All right, now you can put it on there. There you go. Perfect, like a pro. Isn't that easier? Yeah. Right, My hand's just like... Shaking? 
Your hand was shaking too. My hand always shakes. You're shaking because you're nervous. My hands just shake. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're my kid. All right, just wait a second. Hold on. What are you doing? Well, that's how you know when it's hot. Okay, go. Just keep it in one place. Back it up just a little bit. There you go. Perfect. All right, you got it. Go ahead and wrap it with this one. Starting at the boob? Yep, starting at the boob. The blue. Okay, let's start That's over. <laughs> That's such a hard time. <laughs> this is hard. Start here then maybe. This might be easier. stuff tears so just tear it next step is to plug these two harnesses in those two big black harnesses back there they only go one way and that's not the way grab the antenna adapter there's a black ended cable plug it into that one doesn't matter uh yeah it only goes in one way there's a clip on it it goes towards the white thing there's this and on the harness, there's a corresponding plug that needs to plug into. I'm pointing to a man. It's literally right oh. there. <laughs> You're not pointing to I would point, uh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you plug it into radio, you want to start from the longest things and move to the shortest things. much better than it was before. So thanks to Kenwood, we've updated her to wireless CarPlay. Steering wheel controls still work. All those cool backdoor things because we used the iData RR2, pretty awesome. Thank you iData for sending me that. You should head over to KenwoodUSA.com where you can subscribe to their newsletter. That way you can find out if you're a Kenwood fan when all the new products come out. They send out emails. Not other than that, not, so definitely I would recommend doing it. You need to sign up now. Got it. You happy? Happy, yes. What do you think about putting radios in cars? It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just here to hold the screwdrivers. Stay in college? Yeah. Dude, there's like those. <laughs> there's, there's, they're there next door. So all the noises I don't you're think hearing? They are. Yeah, they are. They're always there. This one or that one? That one. Oh. Yeah massage. You guys have a wonderful day as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.